Hi, I'm Jen with Sowing Seeds at Home. I'm going to teach you today how to make this really cute bow holder or bow board, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's so easy to make, but girls love it. Of all ages, it's a great birthday gift to give to them. Um, you can also attach some homemade um, bows for their hair that are also really super easy to make. So. Um, what I do is I go to the craft store. Uh, any local craft store should have canvas um, boards for painting, uh, oil paintings and things like that. And uh, Hobby Lobby is my, one of my favorite craft stores around here. And they do two packs. So you can see there's two boards in here for the canvas in the paint section. And they're really inexpensive. Um, this one is the 11 by 14. Uh, from what I remember, I think it's around $10, something like that, but you're getting two in the package, so that's really inexpensive to make two gifts. Um, so what we're going to do is, first, when you buy your canvases, you also want to buy some fabric in the fabric department. You really only need for one or two boards at a time, something even this size is one yard, and that's it. You, have, you actually need less than that for something this size. So this is the 11 by 14. You take your big piece of fabric. Lay your board down on it. As you can see on the back, all they did was use a staple gun to put the canvas on a little wooden frame. That's like a really simple thing that you can make yourself even. Um, I chose to just buy them because they were easier that way. But you can also see that the canvas is cut already. So all I did was I took my bigger piece of fabric from the store and I just used my fingernail and kind of rubbed it against to make like a little line so I could see it or you could use a pencil and draw on it, whatever you want. Take your scissors, cut it out. Basically it looks like you have about an extra, I'd say two inches from the side of the canvas to go around your board completely so that you can fold it and tuck it. Now what you're going to need is your hot glue gun and all you do is take your hot glue gun, make a line and hot glue without burning yourself the fabric to the board. Um, just to make sure that my fabric and ribbon stick to this, I tend to use both the hot glue and as a backup I also use my nail gun and I'll just put a couple of nails into the board as well. And You do this all the way around keeping it very tight so I do two ends that are opposite of each other first because I want to make sure that the fabric stays tight. And this is something I just came up with myself. Uh, it was something I wanted to make for my daughter who's 12 and I made this about, I don't know, a year or two ago. So she was like 10 or 11. And it was something to put in the bathroom or it could be for her bedroom to keep all of her hair bows on, all of her hair clips, um, anything that has one of the uh, little alligator clips on the back. It just slips right on. It's awesome. So we just do the gluing all the way around, all four sides. Okay, and once that is done, and you can just tuck these little corners, just fold them and tuck them, and then you can just staple those to clamp them down. You don't even have to glue them. Whatever you prefer. Okay, so just to move on, here's my board with my nice tight fabric on it and you can iron the fabric first you don't have wrinkles like I do in mine for the demonstration then you want to take your ribbon um, again Hobby Lobby uh, Michaels Joann's uh, Roberts they often have coupons Hobby Lobby is really good because you don't need a coupon they everything in their store goes on sale 50% off on a rotating basis so everything will be on sale eventually so you just Look at the ad online, wait for it to go on sale, go in, get it 50% off. Ribbon is usually about $1.99 a spool for the, this size. Uh, sometimes a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on the size and width of the yarn, I mean of the uh, ribbon. And uh, you can get it 50% off, so it's super cheap and you get a ton of it. So all you're going to do is take this, again, putting it on this side. You just want to measure, make sure it's long enough to go all the way around. See, I've got a little bit extra, so I can just pinpoint that, snip it with my scissors, and then you want to make sure before you start stapling these, after you've cut how many you want, you kind of visualize how many strands you want, depending on how 
far apart you want them. Typically on a board this size, they only do four, just because that seems a good spacing for that amount of ribbons and barrettes. So basically you just wanna space out your four, just measure along the back and just put a little mark with your pencil where you'd like to put them. And you do want them to be evenly marked because, spread apart, because you want them to be pleasing to the eye. You don't want them to be all half done. Be looking kind of odd. And I just staple it to each side. I pull it tight because I want those flowers to stay held up. And you just staple it to the back, and there you go. There's your ribbon. And it comes out looking something like, here's another one that's partly done. We're just waiting for one more. That would go right here. Very tight. Here's one finished, as well as that. So it stays very tight, keeps all your barrettes or um, hair supplies on there for your little girls. And um, it's great to keep, I said, in the bathroom. You can mix and match any colors you want to. They have a million styles of fabric at the store and accompanying uh, colors for the ribbons so you can use anything you want to really and it's a great simple cheap gift to give for a birthday present and girls go crazy for it. Find out what their decor is in their room and ask their mom what their bedspread looks like or something like that. If they like cheetahs or whatever they're into, whatever color scheme they like and then you can match it for that. Well thanks for joining us for another session on crafting and glad we could share this with you. Um, please join us on sowing seeds at home and I'll give you more details about the project. Thank you.